Hey guys, welcome back to EV Crazy Tutorial. And in this lesson, we're gonna create an alarm clock, our first software. So in this software, user can change the hours and uh, minutes, and then uh, when the time set alarm time meets with the current time, it's gonna make a sound just like that. And then user can stop the alarm. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make this. So let's get rolling. Um, so as you can see, I have already made the background and if you don't know how to make the background, just watch this tutorial and you'll understand. So um, as you can see, um, we have here six buttons. So uh, another button is below the stop alarm. So yeah, six buttons. Uh, one is stop alarm. Let's see the names of this stop alarm underscore BTN, set alarm underscore BTN, hours plus underscore BTN, hours minus underscore BTN, uh, minutes plus underscore BTN, and this one is minutes minus underscore BTN. All right, so let's see the names of this level. So this one is current time underscore TXT. This one is uh, hours underscore TXT. This one is uh, minutes underscore TXT. And the uh, last one is uh, status underscore txt. Okay, so let's just start the project. Um, so first thing first, uh, you're gonna need a timer for this uh, project. So you'll find the timer in the component section. Uh, there you go, here in the component section timer. So just drag it on your project and it'll come up over here. So timer. So first thing what you're gonna do is select the timer and go to interval and make the interval 1000. Well, it's in milliseconds, so uh, 1000 means one second. So every one second, it's gonna run the timer. So yeah, so just double click on the timer now. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the current time .txt .txt, uh equals Time string. Time string is a Visual Basic custom time format that uh, converts time to the string, and this can be uh, defined as like this or like this. Um, it's not gonna work now uh, until we start the timer, so we just have to go and double click on the form, and then we have to timer one uh, dot start. All right, so um, it's gonna start the timer, and then Visual Basic gonna convert that time to a string, and then it's gonna put that time to, um, I mean, time string to that text box, uh, which is current time.txt. So let's just play and see how it looks. It's just look uh, like a clock, normal digital clock. All right, so next is uh, we're gonna make the plus button which is for the hours so hours plus button when the user click on that button what's gonna happen is it's gonna plus out the hours txt whatever numbers the hours txt has is gonna plus out one to that number so hours txt text plus equals one so it's gonna plus so the next is uh, I want to give it a condition that uh, the hours is 24 max so we cannot go further uh, than that so we we're gonna use um, if uh, the hours underscore txt the text is greater than 24 so the minute so uh, if the I mean hours so if it's go over 24 then what's gonna happen is it's gonna uh, put it back to zero so hours txt dot text equals zero so <clears throat> let's see how that works so one as you can see it's adding values to the fill and then it's zero when um, after 24 so yeah okay next is as you have just seen that uh, 
below the number 10 uh, all the numbers uh, let me show you yeah all the numbers are they don't have zero before the numbers so you know so they are kind of uh, look different than the other numbers so we have to put a zero before uh, 1 to 10 1 to 9 I mean so if the hours address for txt dot text is less than 10 then what's gonna happen is it's gonna put uh, uh, a zero before that so hours underscore txt dot text equals a zero and then the number so hours underscore txt dot text okay so hopefully you understood uh, this section so yeah as you can see it's putting a zero just a string it's making it a string it's a zero and then 10 so everything is working fine I guess so let's just make that for the minus button all right so <clears throat> ours uh, button I'm just gonna copy that over to the minus button okay and then our cxc.txt minus one and then I'll put zero over here and 24 over there okay <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, play and see how that looks uh, my okay uh, I did something wrong I guess um, if I Oh, okay, okay. I get it. It's not greater than. Um, it should be less than zero, because <clears throat> the number is cannot go less than zero for the minus. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, now it's working perfectly fine. Um, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so <clears throat> that's that. There's that. So. I can go um, minus and then if the number goes uh, above the 24 then it's gonna be a zero and if uh, I go minus if the number is less than zero then it's gonna be 24 so I'm gonna do the same thing for the minus so I'm just gonna uh, change uh, everything for the minus the names which is a uh, minute underscore uh, uh, sorry I mean for the minutes so minutes underscore TX so I'm just gonna uh, dot text yeah I'm just gonna copy this part and change everything here it's just for the uh, time being because um, uh, if I make uh, if I write every quotes for every button it's gonna take a lot of time so I'm just gonna copy and paste then you can do that for time saving so yeah okay now and there's that so let's just uh, do that for the minus I'm just gonna copy this part hours minus part to minute minus part and then I'm just gonna change the uh, text to minute underscore txt so there you go yeah in here here and last not least here okay now that's done uh, let's just play and see how that looks uh, yeah it's doing just like the hours um, okay um, yeah well a minute cannot be <laughs> 24 you know it's not going more than 24 minutes it has to be more than uh, 60 so we have to change that to uh, 59 so a uh, minutes txt if it goes more than 59 then it's gonna put it to zero and if it's less than zero then it's put it to 59 so yeah it's just for the minute okay so now let's see uh, if that thing is working yeah I guess so yeah yeah now 59 and if I do plus it's gonna put it to zero yeah it's working perfectly fine so <clears throat> let's just go over to the form and let's make our uh, set alarm one so let's just make it a little bit lower and then let's double click on the set alarm okay um, and by the way uh, this set alarm is uh, we're gonna make variables for this also so make sure you check out the variable tutorial for that so there you go so dim uh, then the variable name as we have learned before so variable name is gonna be uh, maybe set alarm 
Yeah. And as it's gonna be a boolean, and the uh, default value is gonna be false. Uh, let's just make it a capital letter. Okay. Then I'm just gonna copy this and paste it. And I'm, whenever the user click on the set alarm, it's gonna set the alarm to true. So <clears throat> true. So you know it's gonna true out that and also um, static underscore txt equals you can uh, type any text you want like uh, you can type alarm is set or alarm is on or something like alarm is set at this time so when the user click on plus or minus button to set the timer and when he uh, set the timer here the message will come alarm is set to this time so let's just go uh, to uh, timer uh, um, timer event and oh, just double click on that to find it and then type if the um, set alarm which is our variable is true so when uh, the alarm time is uh, running what it's gonna I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a variable so let's just copy this and uh, well, just uh, let's name it alarm time and it's gonna be as a string okay and uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be uh, make um, this string and I'm, I'm gonna concatenate this everything so let me just show you how, um, what that concatenate means concatenation means you can use variable or text with value with the string like you can plus out everything and make one string like you have a mango variable which value is one and then you type I have a mango equals and then plus the mango variable that means uh, the I have mango equals one so that is what concatenation means so let's just continue with our tutorial Alright, so now that you know what is concatenation means, we can uh, proceed here. So our underscore txt uh, dot text and we need dot txt dot txt. These are the text value. And then uh, what, I'm, uh, what I'm doing is I'm adding uh, a semicolon as a string. And then also adding here plus equals um, a semicolon and zero. Uh, hold on a sec. So... Um, yeah semicolon and zero so what it's gonna do it's gonna make it just one uh, simple um, string and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, see if this match with the alarm clock um, current time okay so now let's just cut this part and uh, go over to the uh, timer section and then paste it over here so whenever the set alarm is true um, the status of txt it says alarm is um, set to that time so alarm is set uh, uh, to okay and that uh, the time so I'm gonna concatenate this also so what I'm gonna do is plus uh, okay hold on a sec just copy and paste this part okay so I'm uh, doing I'm, I'm just concatenating this alarm time with the string okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it in this I mean the stop alarm because it's uh, and that button is above the set alarm we have to make the visible false so make sure it's visible is false so now I'm just gonna play it and see um, how that's working or not let's see so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go set alarm and yes that thing is working so alarm is set to that time so we have to put another zero over here because one zero is coming so yeah so I just put one, another zero so let's just continue here alright so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna put a if statement here and check if the current time is equals to the set alarm so current time 
txt.txt equals alarm set alarm which is uh, the variable we just made before then what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna add a sound uh, which is our alarm sound so I just oh I have already set up the sound so just hold on a sec let me just uh, grab the URL Alright, so I just grabbed the URL of that sound from my computer. So let's just continue here. So my dot computer dot audio dot play, and then within the parentheses we have to type that. I mean, well, as a string we have to type the path of that sound. Like if you have it in D drive then uh, you know just copy and paste the URL from there and then you have to uh, put um, the sound name of that so um, use backslash not forward slash so alarm um, then underscore wave dot wave so that's it and then I want the audio to be looped so here use a dot a comma and then audio play mode dot background loop so yeah so it's gonna loop uh, whenever uh, the audio is uh, end so now let's just play and see if uh, this thing works so now it's 15 30 and 36 seconds so let me just put it uh, for 31 so whenever times go uh, 15 31 and zero zero for the second I'm not making the zero uh, second thingy so it'll be zero zero so there should be alarm so let's hear it all right the sound is really annoying but the good thing is this is working so let me just close it so the next thing is I have to make everything uh, uh, in this so because you know uh, whenever a user click on the set alarm it should in this everything except for the stop button just like that so I'll just fast forward it all right so I have uh, make everything invisible except for the stop button so let's just now make the stop button so I'll just copy this part uh, from the uh, set alarm button to, and paste it over to the stop button and then I'll just reverse it so that the true is gonna be false and false is gonna be true so I'll just fast forward it quickly okay now it's done so <clears throat> now I have to stop the sound so my dot computer dot audio dot play I mean uh, dot stop and then uh, parentheses okay so now it should stop the sound so let's just play and see how that's uh, uh, working so another thing is we can uh, change the status so status underscore txt dot text equals you can type anything like please set uh, um, alarm or anything you want so let's just see if it's working so let me 15 and then 34 so I'm just gonna make it 35 okay and then set alarm so I'll just fast forward it all right so let's see if it's working or not all right that that we have to stop this annoying sound that is working and everything is working I guess uh, even the status is working and um, only thing that is not working I guess um, the semicolon there so you just have to name it and then make it invisible if you have uh, seen the whole tutorial you can do that I, I guarantee you can do that so <clears throat> only thing that now we have to do is uh, we have to cover the set alarm with the stop alarm so now we're gonna go here and cover the set alarm with the stop alarm and yeah so that's it for this tutorial guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and give it a like and make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends families and facebook and make sure you click on this little bell icon that's gonna send you a message whenever i make videos in the future Thank you.